Good morning. Here's a question for you. The average American produces 20 metric tons of CO2 every year compared to everybody else on Earth where the average is about four metric tons per year. How much are you producing? How would you figure out how would you compare to the average American? Well, calculating how much CO2 is being produced by your home is difficult. Your workplace, even more difficult. And even more difficult is calculating the effect that all the CO2 has on the planet. Well, what is easy to calculate is how much CO2 is being produced by your car. Because your car burns octane. It's octane because it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbon and a bunch of hydrogen attached to it. The hydrogen and the carbon makes it a hydrocarbon. And when we burn it, we get a very predictable amount of carbon dioxide. So I want you guys to figure, I want to help you understand how much CO2 you're producing so that you have to get a very real world sense of it. Now, most Americans don't really have a sense of how much CO2 their car is producing. Um, one big problem is the fact that the United States is not on the metric system. It's very easy to calculate for liters and something like that. And well. Nobody buys gas in liters in the U.S. But we do buy it in gallons, and there is a way we can figure it out. So, let's take a step here. Now, you may have heard people say sometime that a pint's a pound the world round. Well, frankly, a pint's a pound the United States round. So, one pint is equal to one pound, uh, LB. Now, there are two pints in a quart, right? Times two. Four quarts in a gallon, times four. So you end up with one times two times four is eight pounds is the weight of a gallon of water. Now gasoline is lighter than water. So what we need to do here is we wanna actually figure out the weight of a gallon of gasoline. We multiply the weight of water by the comparative density of, of gasoline. Water's got a density of one, gasoline 0.703. So, multiply that and you find out that a pound of gasoline, or a gallon of gasoline, weighs approximately 5.624 pounds. Now, you're saying, great, now I know. I burn a gallon of gasoline, I produce 5.624 pounds of carbon dioxide. No, no you don't. And here's why. Well, a couple things. First off, gasoline isn't all carbon, is it? It's got a lot of carbon. Carbon is certainly the bulk of the weight, but there's also this hydrogen. This hydrogen, when you burn it, does not produce carbon dioxide. It produces water, H2O. So, in fact, most of the molecules that are produced by burning gasoline is water. Uh, carbon dioxide is a minority of the molecules you're producing, but they're kind of important, so we're gonna focus on them. So, let's start out by just figuring out how much the water is carbon. There are eight carbons, each of which has a molar mass, or a yeah, molar mass of 12. 12 times eight, is equal to 96. Now, what percentage of, is that of the whole? So 96 is carbon. You have 18 hydrogen, each of which is one. 96 plus 18, you get 114. So, we multiply this together because after all, not all of the gasoline is carbon. Um, and we get, well, I've already done it. So, we get 4.7, Three, six pounds. That's great. When you burn a gallon of gasoline, you get 4.736 pounds. That's even better, isn't it? But it's not true. Um, and here's the reason why it's not true. Think about what are we talking about? We're not talking about pounds of carbon we're burning. We're talking about pounds of carbon dioxide we get. So um, we burn carbon dioxide, break off some carbon here, and it bonds to not one, but two oxygen. And the thing about oxygen, oxygen's heavier. The carbon has a mass 
of 12, because there's six neutrons and six protons, the oxygen has a mass of 16. Oxygen is heavier than the carbon, um, because there are eight protons and eight neutrons. It, it is heavier. So more than two thirds of the weight of carbon dioxide is actually the oxygen. So let's do some calculating there. So we're trying to figure out, okay, this much carbon's going in, how much carbon dioxide is gonna come out? So let's bring this down here so we have a little more room to work. 4.736 times, okay, so the carbon is 12, and 16 plus 16 is 32, plus 12 is 44, and we do our calculations, and we get 17.37, which we're just gonna round to 17.4 pounds. Burning one gallon of gasoline, you get 17.4 pounds of carbon dioxide, which is a little strange when you think about it because the gasoline, let me get this straight. Before I burned the gasoline, it was 5.624 pounds. Now I burned it and it's heavier? Well, think about it. Your car isn't just taking in gasoline. It's also got a carburetor that's taking in oxygen. And that oxygen has weight. So that's where the bulk of the weight is coming from. And that doesn't even include the water vapor. So, 17.4 pounds per gallon of gas consumed. Now, if we want to figure out, okay, so how much gas do we need to burn to make, produce a metric ton? Well, a, a ton is 2,000 pounds. You divide it by 17.4, and you get approximately 115 gallons of gas. So for every 115 gallons of gas, you're producing a ton of carbon dioxide. That's a lot of gas, isn't it? I mean, producing a ton of carbon dioxide, you're actually gonna burn a lot of gas. Now, there have been some questions about what would be the cost to the environment. Current estimates are about $50 per ton, which would result in, if, you, if we did have a carbon tax to basically offset, it would be about 43 cents per gallon. But think about it. That's, that's a cost that's spread out over all the people on Earth, you know, not paid by you directly is the effect of the carbon dioxide. But think about how much you're paying. If you're paying $3 a gallon for gas, that ton of CO2 has already cost you well over 300 bucks, about 345 bucks that you're paying. So in many ways, you might wanna reduce your CO2 production, not just to help the environment, but also to help your budget. Gas is pricey. But now you know, when you, a gallon of gas, 17.4 pounds. In order to produce a ton of CO2, you need to be you need to burn about 115 gallons of gas, which is a lot of tanks of gas. But now you know. And you can think about it next time you're at the pump. Also, don't forget to think about the money you're paying at the pump too. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.